welcome to the channel so today I am finally taking this hair out oh my goodness you guys if you get gross easily <laughs> I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna show you something gross but this is the hair and close up this is the hair I told you in the last video that there are some things I don't like such as the tangling um, but you can see how the hair looks the hair still looks really really good so i'm gonna see if i can still preserve the hair so we're gonna take this off before i take it off i'm gonna grab my water and this is just lukewarm water and i'm just gonna spray my scalp area i don't care much about the hair itself but pretty much going down the line of my scalp and why am i doing this i'm doing this so that i don't cause any further breakage on my hair um, to see the state of my edges because I know that's something that people always question about how are your edges did you lose your edges these are my edges and I've been applying castor oil and castor butter to it uh, yeah so in the next video you'll see I'll be talking more about castor oil and how you can use it to grow your hair and grow your edges because a ton of people I'm using castor oil and it's not growing their edges so I am going to show you what to do to get that growth you want so if you want to get that video please click the subscribe button and also click the notification bell okay let's start loosening this so after I sprayed my hair I'm gonna touch my hair to see if it's dry if it's dry I'm gonna spray it again I'm not gonna put any moisturizer or anything like that on my hair and then I'm gonna take one hair at a time and what I'm doing is because this was a crochet hair you can just take it and just gently loosen it okay remember I did this with my fingers I did not use a crochet needle so I'm doing I'm going so gently and just holding the base of my hair where the loop is and just rolling it rolling it like this so this is the method that you use if you want to preserve the hair just gently unravel it so this can be a bit tricky without a mirror so I would say use a mirror to gently remove the hair okay so as you pull it you see it's coming my hair is so dark so you can't really see what I'm doing but as you pull it it's coming loose and you're just pulling it through like that okay and once you do that the hair should come off okay and if you do have tangles just grab a scissors you know you grab your scissors and you just cut off any tangles that might be there so you see that tangle I showed you earlier on you see it was there and so the hair is still preserved you can use it again and it still looks well preserved except that it has some loose ends which you can put in warm water and revive the hair again so what you do is just loosen the hair that was tangled in there and that's it so that is what you do if you want to preserve the hair now if you don't care about preserving the hair just take the hair and you just want to cut it like that okay you cut off the hair piece okay and then you just unravel it very much easier okay so for me I like this method because you're not tugging on your hair and your hair is preserved and also well the twist is not preserved but your hair looks good and there's no breakage whatsoever it is after I've cut the hair and um, so now as usual I'm just gonna keep on just taking it out so this is my hair after I took out the crochet you can see the state of my hair my scalp my hair I wash my hair twice a week so you can see <laughs> I didn't wash my hair and my scalp is like on fire 
with the dryness even though i moisturize my hair every two two days maybe i should have increased it to every day um, but with my scalp i didn't want my scalp to get too clogged up okay so i've taken off my twist and this is the state of my hair right now and you can see it's full and i love i love it and while i was taking out my twist i didn't see any hair coming off like breaking off so that is nice but i still need to detangle it um what is one thing that i feel this part of my hair feels moisturized the ends doesn't feel as moisturized as i would love it to be and it's because that end this was kind of tucked in so i couldn't really moisturize it well so it kind of feels a bit dry and you can kind of see it it's a bit dry and um yeah I'm sure you're wondering what i'm gonna do in terms of washing my hair i'm going to clarify my hair i'm probably going to use my suave clarifying sh shampoo so i'll be using this clarifying shampoo to clarify my hair i will also do a protein treatment and for that i'll be doing a protein treatment to strengthen my hair i'll be using this hair shea moisture and then i'm going to use a moisturizing deep conditioner on top of that i'm not yet sure which one is but i might just stick to this because this actually hydrates and it also strengthens so i might just do this this and then next time i will do a moisturizing deep conditioner and i'll start my hair so that is pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in another video thanks for watching bye